Check one, two. Check one, two. Check. Check, check, check. One, two. Sun check. One two, one two, one two. Check one two. I'm Jambo wa Christo apenzi. Tumsefu Yesu Christo. Sasa tunakaribia kuanza tamasha zetu. Mgeni wetu wa Heshima ambaye ni baba asikofu anakaribia kufika na tunaomba tuketi chini tafadhali 
wale wako nje tupate kuingia na tuketi chini kumalizia kupanga to we are requesting that we feel at the St. Peter and Paul feel at home na leo ni siku ya shangwe na furaha tunaposherehekea miaka hamsini tangu kuundwa kwa kwa yetu na actually ni kama tu miaka hamsini ya kanisa hili kwa sababu lilipata kuanzishwa miaka hamsini na miwili iliyopita actually parokia yetu ni changa sana ni changa mno lakini tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ya kuweza kutufikisha hiyo miongo mitano katika nafasi hii tunazidi kuomba ya kwamba tuketi na tutulie wale ambao nje uh, tupate kuingia ndani tujitafutie mahali pa kuketi mahali ambapo utaweza kuti cha kuweza kufanya wewe ufurahie ni kiungo cha macho kwa hivyo keti pale ambapo unaona kwamba unaweza kuona vizuri kile ambacho kinachofanyika huku mbele uzuri ni kwamba huku mbele kutukoko juu na tamasha zote zitafanyika katika ili jukwaa ambalo tunaloliona leo tumelifanya kanisa letu tuweze kuwa katika hali ya kuogopa manake muona tabari na kuyeti kwa wazi na kwa hivyo uh, vile tulivyoiweka ni nafasi ambayo ni nafasi nzuri ambayo uh, tunaweza kuitumia kama ukumbi wa tamasha zetu tunazidi kuomba ya kwamba wale ambao tuko nje tuingie na tuketi ili tupate kuona ya kwamba mambo yote yamepata kutulia Na imani ya kwamba hata kama umeketi kule nyuma bado unaweza kuona huku mbele kwa uzuri kwa sababu kuna mwangaza wa kutosha sidhani kama pengine ni kuna giza sana na imani ya kwamba macho yetu yanaweza kutufikishia kuona kile ambacho tunachokiona huku mbele Basi tuketi na tusubiri Mwalimu
Tumsefu Yesu Kristu wa Kristo wapenzi wakati wa kuanza tamasha zetu umefika na hivi punde tutaanza na tutaongozwa kwa sala za ufunguzi na baba paroko lakini kabla ya hapo ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii nikiangalia katika listi yetu Tuna wageni wengi ambao tumewaalika kama Mwalimu Martin Madam Florence St Peter and Paul okay okay hiyo ni hiyo ni program kuna wageni wengine ambao ningependa tupate ku recognize St Francis of Assisi choir uh, St Gregory the Ndegwa St Cecilia na wageni wengine wote ambao tumewaalika na wamefika karibuni sana. Ama kwa kweli baba askofu mapadri wetu wa Kristo wote tunawakaribisha sana. Mjisikie mkiwa nyumbani. Na na mmoja kati yetu ambaye ningependa awasalimie kwa hewa manake ni mkubwa wangu ambaye ni moderator wa parish hii na pia ni mwanzilishi wa kwaya yetu ni mmoja wa wakongwe wa kwaya hii kwa hivyo namuomba ndugu yangu Joseph wasalimie wa Kristo tunakupenda and we are happy because you are in our midst gracing this occasion too basi nyote tuwakaribisha na tunajua tuna wageni wengine ambao wako njiani wakifika tuwajulisha na najua kuna mapadri wengi ambao wako miongoni mwetu baba paroko wetu atatujulisha hawa mapadri ambao wamefika lakini katika nafasi hii ningelimuomba baba paroko akaribie ili apate kutufungulia kwa sala ndiye amewezesha siku hii ya leo ikafika kweli kuja hapa mipango yetu yote ni kwa sababu ya baraka zake Mwenyezi Mungu tumefika hapa ili kusherekea pamoja na wanakuwa wetu tiule lakini imewezekana imewezekana kwa sababu ya juhudi za hawa watu walio hapa maana imewabidi kutia bidii sana kuja kwa kwa ya practice miaka hiyo yote 
Mungu anawaona wasikia hapa kila mara mbili kwa wiki na wamefanya hivyo miaka yote hiyo wale ambao walikuwa tangu mwanzo walikuwepo asanteni sana asanteni sana ikweli hawa watu ndio katika historia ya kanisa letu wamefuatilia ikafika hadi sasa na tunaendelea vizuri kama mwaona wanakuwa wetu ni wengi mno ili kwaya iweze kuimba vizuri kabisa lazima kuwa wengi na hivyo basi hawa wameweza wameshinda mashindano mengi sana wameenda mahali hiyo wameshiriki kikamilifu kwa upe wengine wametoka karibu na sisi hapa Roiro wengine wametoka Zimaman wengine mahali huko kote metoke kote na kwa taadhima kuu na wakaribisha na naomba father Jospat naye ajonge atuongoze kwa sala stutia katika kishawishi lakini utupoe mama sala maria umejanema bwana yunawe umebariki wewe kuliko na wake wote na yesu mzao atumbo lako umebariki maria mtakatifu mama wa mungu tuombe sisi wako safe sasa na saa kwetu mungu ba mwenyezi kwa kiashukrani zetu Siku ya leo ambao tumeweza kumsherekea Kristo Mfalme wa ulimwengu. Siku ambayo tunataka kushukuru kwa baraka na nima zako nyingi. Hasa pamoja na kwa yetu ya mtakatifu Petro na Paulo ambao wanasherekea miaka hamsini ya masivaji ambazo ambao tumeweza kukubariki na parukia yetu. Tunakuomba wakati ambapo tunaanza ratiba yetu uweze kutembea nasi hadi mwisho na hasa ratiba yetu na siku yetu iwe ya kufana na baraka na neema na masifu yote ya kurudie na tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu hatukuze baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu Ah, nimesahau jambo moja tu kuwatambulisha mapadre tulionao hapa tutaanza pale na Father Jospat Jenga awasalimie <laughs> Father Simon Peter Kamomoe <laughs> Father Michael Ndisho <laughs> Father Francis Ndogo Father Dominic Waru Kenya Na Father Angelo Gushu Na Father Peter Ken Jonge Na Father John Wamute Na Father Paul Kamau Father Paul Nganga Kamau Paul Nganga Kamau Ah uh, siju kuna padre mwingine na mama yetu Oh sorry na mwisho kabisa baba askofu uh, George Bishop George Modaka kutoka Garissa Asante sana baba paroko Father James Kariuki Basi nachukua nafasi hii bila kupoteza wakati zaidi kwa sababu tumeanza tayari na tunaelewa vizuri kabisa kuna mtu mmoja ambaye najua ninyi mara nyingi mmemuona kwa TV mara nyingi si ndio mara nyingi wanaekana tu kwa TV hasa kila alhamisi kila alhamisi napenda kumtizama anajua nikataka kipindi gani kwa kila alhamisi na yuko miongoni mwetu katika siku ya leo anaitwa Francis Kashuri yeye ndiye MC wetu wa siku ya leo karibu karibu, karibu sana Francis upate kuchukua hii nafasi sasa utuendeshe katika tamasha hizi Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. God is good. Mambo karibuni sana. Mko sawa? If you're happy and you know say amen. If you're happy and you know say amen. 
If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show, if you're happy and you know, bas, bas, ba bas kofu, mimi wimbaji wangu umefika hapo. Siku moja, niliambia watu najua kuimba, nikajaribu kuimba, nikajipata nikiimba, hiti na shiho nene. Kumbe, ni diti na Sasa mimi nikaachia kuimba hapo. So, kwanza, kwa sababu shugli hii ni shugli rasmi, naomba tusimame, sote, tusimame. Ili tuimbe wimbo wa taifa. DJ. Pigieni DJ kwa kumpata off guard, makofi. Pigieni tena kwa kumpata off guard tena. Tumpigie makofi mpaka apate wimbo wa taifa. Tuendelee kabisa mpaka apate national anthem kwa Kiswahili ama kwa Kiingereza DJ. Naro wakatu ina nagiko. You get it go? By the mudo ina gathia. Aya, wachana DJ. E mungu nguvu yetu. Ni sana tukai Tulikubaliana subuhi leo ni siku kubwa Ni kubwa ama si kubwa Ni kubwa siyo Tafadhali geukia muenzako msalimie Muulize ya naitu wa nani Ametoka wapi eh? Mamsalimia Amekuambia ametoka wapi eh? Very good Haya, 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 haya Oda, oda, oda. Tumemaliza kusalimiana. Tafadhali toa simu yako kwa mfuko. Tafadhali toa simu. Si na simu? Ishike hivi kwa mkono ni onyeshe kama ukona simu. Kuna watu hawajatoa na ninawaona tu nikiwa hapa. Umetoa simu? Enda pale kwa selfie mode. Umeenda kwa selfie mode? Enda hapo kwa selfie mode. Tafadhali enda kwa selfie mode. Father Joseph atukuja tupige selfie na wewe. Kuja father. Kuja father. Umepata selfie mode? Tafadhali mgeukie mwenye yako kushoto. Kushoto ni kumodho, isn't it? Piga na ye selfie. Umepiga na ye selfie? Umepiga? Haya, piga na uyo mwingine yako kulia on the right. Umepiga? Aya, very good. Sasa, umemaliza kupiga selfie? The reason why tumepiga hiyo selfie, ha? usalama unanza na wewe, sindio? Sasa, in the event, simu yako ikipotea. Simu yako ikifanya nini? Ikipotea. Simu yako ikipo? Ikipotea. Tutakuwa tumejua ni nani ya mei? Ama na mnagani? Sia mambo ni ya kukua mwerevu. Mauduma ni mau. Gigitiguo? Very good. Sasa, baada ya kujuana, kujua tumetoka wapi, kupiga selfie na mambo kama hayo, kama bado umeshika simu yako, enda pale kwa YouTube. Umeenda pale kwa YouTube? Tafadhali enda pale kwa YouTube. Ndiyo tukubaliane basic things. Umeenda kwa YouTube? Umesubscribe hapo kwa St. Peter and Paul Catholic Church Kiambu? Have you subscribed? Finya basi notification. Notification yako kakengele. Ntakombia the reason why tumefanya hivyo. Sasa, ili tuanze tamasha zetu rasmi. Tuanze tamasha zetu rasmi. Nataka kumkaribisha Samuel Njoguna. Wei Samuel. Tumpigia makofi Samuel. Samuel, atatusomea historia ya kwaya yetu. Sindio? Mpigia makofi Alafu na muonyesha five hivi kwa mkono. Muonyesha five. Sini fifty. Haya tupigia kwa yetu makofi moja. Ingine, 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 
Hizo ni ngapi? Nne, piga nyingine moja. Asante, karibu Samuel. Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Uh, naomba nikijitarisha uh, kusoma historia wanakwaya wote wa St Peter and Paul kwaya waje hapa mbele. Wanakwaya wote wa St Peter and Paul kwaya waje hapa mbele. Ndio ndio tuanze kujitayarisha. Mtu mmoja akasema kwamba mziki ni kelele zilizopangwa. Kwa hivyo ukiona hao wanakoya, wao ufanya kelele zilizopangwa. Ndiyo unaona wakiweza kujipanga hivyo kwenye uh, jukoa. Kwa sababu wanasherekea miaka yao eh, hamsini ya uibaji na vifu. So tuna washukuru wote ambao mmeweza kuja siku ya leo kushirikiana na sisi uh, katika hizi uh, sherehe. Wengine jinsi tulivyoona miaka hamsini kweli wameimba. Wengine ndiyo tunaanza, wengine ni wa miaka miwili na wote tunalo jukumu katika hii kwaya ambayo mnaona hapa. Uh, hii ambayo imepambwa ikapambika. Hao wanaingia kwa stage ni sauti ya pili ama wana alto. kuanzia hapo hao ni wana tena tena ambayo ni sauti ya tatu eh, na wamejitolea hiyo miaka yote kumsifu na kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu ndio eh, hao wanaingia kwa uwanja kama jeshi la Bwana nao sauti ya nne na sauti ya mwisho eh, ndio hao wana eh, sauti ya nne ambao wanawekelea ngoma Yo anapiga ngoma na matari So hiyo ni kwa ya moja ya St Peter and Paul ambayo inasherekea miaka hamsini siku ya leo na nikisoma historia ya hii kwaya ndio nimewaita hapa mbele ndio tuwaone wale ambao tunaongea e, ama tunanena habari yake kwa hivyo hii kwaya ambayo ni St Peter and Paul ilianzishwa kama kwaya karibu ya familia na mwalimu ambaye alikuwa anaitwa mwalimu Philip Kamau ni jirani yetu hapa na ni kati ya wale walipatiana Eh, hiki kipande cha shamba kuanzisha uh, hii kanisa na ilianzwa na wasichana wadogo ambao walikuwa naenda shule ya Holy Ghost Mission Riabai na kati ya hawa wanakoaya kunao walikuwa uh, hawa wasichana wadogo kutoka Riabai wapi madam Recho sijui kama tutamwona huyu alianza kuimba akiwa msichana mdogo wa primary school nani mwingine Magdalene yupo Aha, huyu anaitwa Terry. Hao wote walianza wakiwa wasichana wadogo. Kwa hivyo una imagine wameimba hiyo miaka yote hamsini Magdalene ndiye huyu hapa. Tunamuita mama yetu na tumempatia ruhusa leo aweze kukaa chini. Alianza akiwa kasichana kadogo. Na tulikuwa tumetoka Riara Parish 1972 na father ambaye alikuwa parish priest wakati huo alikuwa anaitwa father Sheldon. Kati ya mwaka 1972 na 86 hii kwaya ilikuwa inaitwa Kiambu Town Choir. Kumaanisha ukienda YouTube ama usikize nyimbo utaona Kiambu Town Choir kwa sababu hicho eh, ndicho kilikuwa shina la hii kwaya. It was the foundation of this choir. Na ilianzishwa na mwalimu tulie naye hapa siku ya leo anaitwa mwalimu eh, Sami Karioki. 
Mwalimu Kariu kisimama tafadhali. Na kaendeleza hiyo kwaya mpaka wakati alipatia mwalimu tulie naye kwa sasa hivi ambaye anaitwa mwalimu Francis Mwaura ni yule mrefu pale Tumekuwa na fadha wengi ambao wamekuwa chaplain wetu kuanzia fadha uh, Kiongo fadha Kiaduma ambao pia walikuwa wanafunza hii kwaya mziki fadha Mungai uh, fadha Peter Simon Kamomoe uh, fadha Mburu Father Michael Karanja na hao wote wameshikilia nafasi kubwa katika uenezaji wa injili kwa huduma ya nyimbo kwa hii kwaya. Na wote tunawashukuru kwa hiyo uh, historia. Uh, now hii kwaya pia imeshiriki katika tamasha nyingi za kitaifa. Ukiwaona hapa hawa wameimbia harusi ya bwana Gegi Kenyata ambaye ni ndugu yake uh, Uhuru Kenyata. Tuwapigie makofi. Pia wameweza kushiriki katika uimbaji wa national uh, celebrations kama uh, sherehe ya mwisho ya rais uh, Mwai Kibaki 2012 pale Nyayo Stadium tukimwaga Mwai Kibaki kama rais tena tukashiriki katika sherehe za mazishi yake Mwai Kibaki uh, pale Nyayo Stadium uh, kuanzia uh, mwanzoni mwa mwaka huu ni kwaya ambayo imetembea kila pahali sehemu ya uh, Kenya. Pale nje ukienda utapata picha ambazo wamepigwa St Joseph's Cathedral Meru. Homa Bay wameimba kitui. Pale tu hawajaenda kama kikundi ni Mombasa. Na najua hata Mombasa watafanya nini? Watafika. So ni kwaya ambayo imefanya mengi na wale walimu ambao wamekuwa kati ya walimu wa kwaya ni mwalimu Sami Karioki ambayo ni mwaonyesha mwalimu Francis uh, Mwaura Father Michael Mongai mwalimu Vincent Njenga tunamuita Segati wengi wetu tunamjua lakini kwa sasa ni mgonjwa eh, amelazwa hospitali mwalimu Michael Gadekia nimemuona pahali mwalimu Michael Gadekia yuko nasi eh, mwalimu Dulenyi eh, mwalimu Dishon Mwangi Mwalimu Dishon Mwangi, ya hao wote wameshiriki katika uimbaji wa hii kwaya. Kati ya wale viongozi ambao tumekuwa nao ni kama Philip Kamau ambaye alianzisha hii kwaya, Lawrence Mburu, Moses Goko, Robert Chege, Anthony Juguna, James Mjenga, eh, Elizabeth Kimari na moderator wa sasa hivi ambaye ni Samuel Juguna ambaye ananena na nyinyi. Ni kwaya ambayo inajivunia uimbaji wa hali ya juu kwa sababu eh, katika zile ile miaka hamsini hakuna mwaka hii kwaya imeenda festival ikarudi mkono mtupu. Tuwapigie makofi. Hakuna mwaka ambayo imeshiriki eh, ikakuja ikaambia kanisa hatujui kuliendaje. It is a very consistent kwaya a superb kwaya ambayo inaendelea kila kila uh, mwaka kufanya kazi mzuri na la mwisho kati ya zile kazi ambazo hii kwaya imefanya imetoa eh, volumes kadhaa moja yao ikiwa kumake ya Bereria it was the first volume iliandikwa kati ya wengine na mwalimu Vincent Jenga kwa lugha ya Kikuyu tukakuja volume 2 tukafanya ulimi wangu eh, katika eh, miaka ya Father Peter Mburu tena tukafanya eh, safari ya mbinguni naye eh, katika uongozi wake Father eh, Peter Mburu bado na sasa hivi tuna launch wimbo watatu tukisherekea miaka hamsini katika uongozi wake Father James Karioki. So hizo ni, kati, ni baadhi ya kazi ambazo hii kwaya imefanya. Tukapigie makofi tena. Hiyo ndiyo historia fupi ya hii kwaya kwa hivyo nitachukua nafasi hii sasa kualika ili waweze kutubuiza na wimbo wao wa Golden eh, Jubilee tukiongozwa uh, na mwalimu Lawrence Kameja. Mwalimu Lawrence Wimbo wa Golden Jubilee 
kusherekea miaka hamsini ya uimbaji uh, mzuri anatafuta mcheza kinada wake so huyo ndiye mwalimu Lawrence Kameja tumemuona na leo tutamsikia moja kwa moja mwalimu karibu
We sema moto. Sema fire. Iko sawa ama haiko sawa? Ambia mwenzako mambo bado. Ndio tumeanza tu. Eh ndio tumeanza tu wapigie makofi sana. Naona wageni wanazidi kumiminika. Nimetani hivi nikaona mdosi wangu anaitwa Linas. Mnajua Linas? Linas kai kai. Awasalimia si wasalimie. Kuja Linas usalimie watu. Pigie ni makofi. Na by the pia Linas ni mwana kwaya eh. Eh pia ni mwana kwaya. Mutimuhurire karuheke gani ga dhafa agewega. Ina inyuka muhana gathe. Mungu wa Kristo tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Mungu yu mwema na kila wakati. Ni furaha yangu kubwa sana kuwa hapa leo. Ni kuwasalimu tu na kupongeza kwaya ya kanisa ya St Paul and St Peter. Unajua nilikuwa nauliza rafiki yangu Francis. St Peter, St Paul. Mbona wote wawili? Akaniambia in Kiambu we don't take chances with saints. <laughs> so now shukuru sana for a wonderful performance and uh, I'm a great great fan of uh, the church choirs. Um, they have truly changed the face of the Catholic Church. I'm sure Bishop Wetu Pia and our leaders in the church do acknowledge that since the African Synod coming this way a lot has changed about our church because of our great uh, singing in church. Asante ni sana. Asante sana, Linas. Awasalimie kwa news gang ama asi wasalimie. Awasalimie. Ebu mpigie ni makofi nda wasalimie vizuri. Nilikuwa na mringia na mwambia, by the way, our dinari in Kiambu is better than their dinari in Gong. Sindio? Nasi ya meona? Haya wacha ndio tumuonyeshe na watu wengine zaidi Afande Kiro. Pigieni makofi Afande Kiro. <laughs> na unajua Afande ni mtu wa kumpigia makofi mazuri. La sivyo anaweza sema tufunge huu mkutano tukwende nyumbani. Karibu sana Afande. Sasa Afande si unampigia anga salute. Tumpigieni salute hivi. Very good. Baba Askofu Eh, mapadri wetu wanakuwa ya wote na wa kristu kwa jumura tumusifu yeso kristu yeah. gaini muwega yeah. it is you there yeah. eh ni kuzuri sama ni kuzuri yeah. ini kiabu ina tunajua yeah. gaini are tora dhimaga <laughs> sasa sasa goja goja unajua gashuri unajua mesema diyo tumeanza Na kuanzia tufike hapa isipokuwa ni kwa yetu the host imetuimbia so nataka tusimame tuimbe si ni kweli mtanisaidia tuimbe DJ yotatuwekea hiyo ngoma ndio tuweze kuendelea haya piga mkombe nzuri
kuja kiambu nikiwa nimealikwa na hawa ndugu na dada zangu nikafikiria nikiwa kijana mchanga kabisa pale pale mdogo wake hege yake kana dhali nilipendezwa na kwa ya St Peter and Paul mimi ni mzaliwa wa parokia ya jimbo hili inaitwa our red of the holy rosary kamwagi by then tulikuwa na father baya kwa sahi tunatumika na yeye katika kikosi sababu ni kitambo kabisa nikiwa mtanga kabisa so that's the first time niliona kwaya ambayo inaimba na inacheza kitu inaitwa drums zile za cha na kinanda kinachezwa siko hiyo na kitu kama hiyo mbeleni so my music ilianza wapi congratulations st peter and paul pia kulikonga nice wakati tumetajiwa St Peter and Paul na Dio niingie kwaya that was 1997 Samia alikuwa anakuja kwetu lakini haga ni jua unajua daika na kama tugo unajua mtugo so nilikuwa mchanga pili nilikuwa napenda venye mwalimu Sami alikuwa anafundisha kwaya anafundisha kwaya anafundisha kwaya wakiwa na mwalimu Sagat na nimesikia mugu wa mponye haraka walikuwa wanatufundisha wimbo mpaka unasikia uko ndani ya kwa So mimi nawaambia kitu moja you are 50 years old congratulations Tunataka turudi hapa ku celebrate 100 years and it is very soon Father it is very soon we are coming back here to celebrate 100 years kwa majaliwa Mwenyezi Mungu Naitwa Afande Kiro mimi mtumishi katika idara ya polisi county inaitwa Nyeri pale tunafanya kazi ya polisi kidogo kazi ya muziki kidogo tunachanganya si kweli So tukipatana kwa barabara usiseme hata yule bwana kwa wetu sawa haina shida tutaendelea tu kazi vizuri ukigi pale YouTube uguze Afande Kiro official utapata nyimbo zetu Gehana 
Yesu ke muone hi ke muone hi mwadani Yesu Atwe ke teirio sito na Kenya o na juzi tu tukua ge dogori wakapu arikuwa ke radi mo tambura minja minja rianga na di me na mwadani Egonda ona mahio Da dimera mwadani minja minja Na shukuru wote kama sitapata nafasi nyingine mkuwe na wakati mwema Mungu azidi kuwabariki Ngoja 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 tusimame naomba tusimame Tumpigie afande kiro salute moja hivi Tum... Sasa huyo afande kiro ni mudhi gari mwini. Na githuwe rito giuga hati ya ni musikari mwimbi. Ni musikari mwimbi. Eh, ni musikari? Ni musikari mwimbi. So, sa ataka kumkaribisha Steven Karioki. Steven uko wapi? Tumpigia makofi, Steven. Wale watu wakona nyueleza hoitu wa wili ni mimi na Steven. Sio? Karibu sana, Steven. Tumpigia makofi tena. Tumsifu Yesu Kristu Milele na milele Ok, mi ni moja wao Wawale walianzisha ii kwaya Lakini ni wale huagachini ya maji Kwa hivyo, historia ikisomwa Labda huenda nisisomwe Lakini, I'm very happy this afternoon Because you have given tribute to mwalimu Philip ambaye alikuwa my mentor alinifunza kuanzia class 3 na hapo ndio nilianza muziki my eldest son or brother okay. sijali namwambia niachie ka kitu So, hiyo ni hali ya machine. So, Baba Askofu, I'm happy also to announce that Sami is... Okay, when Sami came here, we are from Kirinyaga and Sami grew up in Kirinyaga and I grew up here. So, when he came here, he found when to say Sami is my first student. Okay, nilikuwa nimemuambia DJ and WK track moja. Wale watu wananijua hali tumetoka na nyinyi kwaya Najua niluafunza a long time ago Hallelujah chorus Sindio Na nimiaka ya kitambo sana A long long time ago Kanyimbo za kisuzungu Kwa hivyo mutaniruhusu tu niimbe Hata bila tracks ni taimba Oh holy night the stars are brightly shining, it is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Nanita umba shiko aje tuimbe na ye. Shiko is the cameraman. Nimeanza kuwa na butterflies, I need somebody to assist me. Shiko is so... Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining, it is the night. Shining, it is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and felt its wrath. A dream of hope. 
the weary star rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, O hear the angel's voices, O Tuwapigia makofi tena. Asante, asante, asante sana. Sasa wametueka kwa mudi ya Christmas. Sio? Wangapi wamenunua nguo za Christmas? Wamangapi wamenunua? Sasa that is an indicator. Tununue nguo za? Very good. Sasa, Lawrence Kameja. Munajua Lawrence Kameja? Wangapi wanamjua Lawrence? Guy, kwa ni ya mjui Lawrence? We, ni munoma Lawrence Kuja. Tumpigia makofi. Na yeye ndiye mtumbo wa Golden Jubilee. Kwa hivyo tumpigie makofi tena. Tukimaliza na Lawrence, nitawapatia ka surprise kengine kadogo. Si mmesema kwaya ni ya miaka hamsini. Would you want to know wale watu walikuwa hapa hiyo miaka hamsini? Mungetaka kuwaona? Wakiimba. Haya wakae standby. Karibu Lawrence. Enyi viumbe vyote. Dude. 
sababu ya imani tu milele ni sandi Tumpigie makofi. Sasa mmejua Lawrence sio? Na imagine amecheza vocals peke yake. Hakuna ati yo. Ni safi si safi? Hebu nyinyi jaribuni. Itakuwa ngumu kidogo. Sio tumpigie makofi. Na imagine ndiye mwalimu wa kwaya yetu amewafundisha. Si amefanya kazi nzuri. Abaki asibaki. Afanye asifanye. Tumpigie makofi tusimpigie. Asante sana Lawrence. Sasa miaka hamsini iliyopita kwaya ya St Peter and Paul ilianzishwa. Na kuna baadhi ya wanzilishi ambao wako hapa nasi. Tuwapigie makofi. Situsikie vile walikuwa wanaimba siku hizo. Karibuni sana wana kwaya wa zamani. Ndio ha Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. God is good. Ah ni baadhi ya wanakwaya wale tulikuwa hapo 1972 lakini tulikuwa watoto wadogo. Hata kuwa kwaimbia nyimbo mbili. Ya kwanza tulifundishwa hiyo mwaka wa 1972 ni ya kikikuyu. Kingine tukafundishwa ya Kiswahili 1973 na mwalimu aliyetoka Tanzania alikuwa anaitwa Pius Masaganya. Karibuni.
sasa ukitaka kujua zile kwaya kama zinaogopana unaonanga St Peter and Paul wanasimama sasa zile wanatoka si ndio sasa unajua wako rikamo rika moja ni age group moja si ndio ni kama sasa zile watu wa Manchester United wadona wanapita hivi watu wa Arsenal wanasimama si ndio ama namna gani yeah tupigie watu wa Manchester makofi tusipigie watu wa Arsenal makofi <laughs> Asante sana. Sasa sasa naomba kuwakaribisha wanakwaya wa Saint Cecilia. Tuwapigie makofi. to have the youngest accompanist in this archdiocese and it was Simon Peter mnamuona pale just out of school so so we are growing and that is that is something to celebrate about
Asante sana. Tuwapigie makofi tena. Tuwasindikize na makofi mpaka waondoke, sio? Asante, asante. Thank you very much. Kwa ya St. Cecilia. Naomi KDD.
934V tafadhali go and attend to your vehicles kuna mahali zimekaa si pazuri sana asanti sasa tumechoka ama tujachoka tusimame kidogo alafu tukae tusimame tena tukae tusimame tukae tusimame tukae tusimame haya very good hiyo ni exercise kidogo tu ya lat sio more power more power tumpigie makofi more power karibu sana and all the time sisambaze salamu zangu kwa mwenzio mwambie amesalimiwa na madam florence sababu more power ni wimbo i'm happy to be here mimi upenda kushiriki hapa masiaine na kanga hapa nyuma ya ya kwaya so karibuni kwa wageni uh, nimeimba wimbo unaoitwa gaihe mopa wa ya kuhoya and i'm happy sababu wimbo yangu ya kwanza mnaimbanga lakini siwezi satoa gaihe mopa wa ya kuhoya hata shida zikija nyumbani mwetu ambu za kuomba shokera bibi kwa uge gaihe mopa wa ya kuhoya na kuna ingine ita, inaitango wa mwato mwato ni dunia neve kwa dunia unafanya mambo mawili yanayomfurahisha Mungu na ambayo hayamfurahishi Mungu unapofanya yamfurahishayo Mungu unakula asali unayo unapofanya yale hayamfurahishi unakula hiyo magua inaitwa aje na, ki, na Kiswahili so much na asante kwa kwaya asante francis gashuru nimeambiwa nikusalimie na aunti yako rafiki yangu sana asante umsalimie pia huyo shangazi yangu simuona sasa salamu zimefika tumpigie makofi florence si amemba vizuri tugetua kugana gedori ni muinimu wakati ukiwa hata ni mwimbi mzuri sio asante sana mwimbi mzuri nataka sasa kumkaribisha mwimbi mwingine Anaitwa Terry Mushiko. Wapi Terry? Wapi Terry? Tumpigie makofi Terry. Na, na naona ni wa St. Matthias Mulumba sio? Nza. God is good. And now the time. I'm delighted this evening to be with you. I'm one of those people that have been members of this honorable choir. And I come in thanksgiving as you thank the Lord for this far. Congratulations members and all the stakeholders because for a lot of sacrifices, a lot of challenges 
and that also comes with a lot of commitment. I'm going to sing one of my songs that I've written and sung, and I hope you are going to clap along. DJ. <music> Well done. Sasa, turudi kwa wenye juetu. Sindio? Tusikie kiambu kidogo. Sema kiambu E. Kiambu A. Kiambu E. Karibu ni sana. St. Peter and Paul. Alafu mkijianda, pia nataka kuatahadharisha St. Gregory. St. Gregory. Ka stand by.
Ngoja 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 kidogo kwa makofi. Sema kwa makofi. Tumkaribishe mhasha mbaba askofu mkuu Philip. Karibu sana, karibu sana baba askofu mkuu. Mbona mna ni kama hamuamini amefika? Baba askofu mkuu naomba usimame, uwapungie mkono hivi. Waamini umefika. Ndio huyo. Asante sana, asante sana. Karibu sana. You are right on time. Tuendelee kwaya. Ni 
Mwenzi Mungu wangu Yeye hasa hili ya kusifiwa mimi nitaimba mimi na kucheza nitaruka ruka kama damu Mwenzi Mungu wangu Yeye hasa hili ya kusifiwa sana tuwapigie makofi wako sawa hawako sawa mbu tu subscribe hapo sio sasa st gregory karibuni Ya njoni nyote tumwimbie sifa Ewe mwenyezi Mungu pokea sifa zetu kwa ni Piga go 
Soma na matari Piga ngoma piga God is good and all the time. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tusalimiane kwa hewa. Ah asanteni sana. Ah um Father Karanja. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um Archbishop Anyolo. Eh the other bishop Bishop Jot, I'm so sorry. And uh, our chaplain, all priests present, and all protocols observed. Good evening. Uh, my name is Eric Monene, and I'm the choir director for St. Gregory, the Ndigua Choir. And uh, we are here today to celebrate together with our mother choir, St. Peter and Paul. And we want to wish them a happy 50th anniversary as I celebrate the milestones you've made so far in terms of our singing. You are our mother and we know your quality, we know the works you've done and we want to congratulate you and wish you many, many years to come. And we want to celebrate our 100th anniversary here. So, asanteni sana. Father in charge wa hii parokia ambaye ameshikilia sana hii kwaya na zile kwaya zingine zote tunasema asante sana na tuna hope tutaendelea kukuza uimbaji wa hii parokia pamoja thank you may god bless you all Thank you. 
Asante sana tuwapigie makofi. Eh tuwapigie makofi sana wana St Gregory. Sasa nataka kuwakaribisha. Wakiondoka tu stage, nataka kuwakaribisha wana Ruiru wakimaliza hivi tu. Naomba pia Madre Teresa wawe tayari, wawe standby after after Ruiru. So karibuni sana tuwapigie Ruiru makofi na tuwapigie wana St Gregory wanapoondoka. Na putu mpigie makofi mwalimu wa Dendegua. Alafu huyo, huyo bishop mwingine, huyo bishop mwingine, anaitua bishop mudha? Sema mudhaka, bishop mudha? E, ni wajimbo la uh, kule garisa. Asante sana, karibu ni wanaruiru.
kuimba vizuri. Unajua sasa hapa ndio tunajua tofauti ya kuimba na kuiba. Si ndio? Wameiba ama wameimba? Wameimba vizuri sio? Tuwapigie makofi. Sasa nataka kuwakaribisha watuimbie wimbo mmoja. Sema wimbo mmoja. Madre Teresa. Karibuni sana. Bishop Philip Anyolo, Bishop George Mudaka, na all the choir members and uh, the guest choir. To msifu Yesu Christu. Kwa niaba ya wana St. Cecilia, second mass choir, Zimmerman, na wapenda kuchukua furusa hii. Kwa shukuru hao na choir wenye walituwalika. Kwa kika, Kuna kitu tumesoma na mutasoma kwetu. Tuna roots ambapo nimesikia Father Kiongo ametajwa mahali. Father Kiongo diyo mwanzilishi wa kuwaya hii. Hii ni kwa rajua wakati wa CNBC. Siku na venye mwalimu waki na alainua kuwaya. So na furahia kuwa tukuna padri mwenye alikuwa teketea hapa. Padli Peter Ken. So, karibuni sana. Hii ni kuwaya ambayo imembombea. Katika uimbaji wa klima, kuliazia bronze, gold, diamond, na sasa tumepandisho mpaka platinum. So, katika dinari ya Ruaraka dinari, we, uh, we present the Ruaraka dinari katika uimbaji kiwango cha platinum so karibuni sana makinike asandeni na kama ni kamonja tu then composition
Nakuita kusambe dambi. Asante sana. Eh, si wako juu? Sema wako juu. Si ndio? Wako sawa sawa, sio? Finally, sema finally. Sema finally. Anastasia. Pigieni Anastasia makofi mazuri. Anastasia kimaliza. Pia mafadha wetu wamekuwa kiprepare wimbo. Pigieni mafadha makofi. Ama muamini kuna kwaya ya mafadha, mtawaona saa hii hapa hapa. Karibu. Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Jina langu ni Anastasia Muema. Uh, niko YouTube utaangalia nyimbo zangu na nataka kuwa entertain na nyimbo mbili mix usiogope njo na wema wako wa ajabu Unaweza piga makofi nisianguke hapa <laughs> Oh, 
sana goja kidogo tumpigie makofi anastasia ako sawa ma hako sawa mimi kuna wimbo moja nilikuwa na ngoja aimbe inakuwa zetunasikia ehe ndio hiyo atuimbie kifungo moja teke teke tusimame very much tumpigie makofi anastasia tena very good si niliwaambia mafadha wanajua kuimba hamkuamini ngoja muone sasa kuja father ken peter ken bas ndio yule pale kwenye drums kuja father mburu kuja father michael karanja kujeni hapa mafadha kujeni 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 mafadha kujeni tuwapigie makofi mafadha wakija hata nimeona father Peter kama moyo amekunywa maji kidogo sauti itoke. Kujeni mafadha, kujeni mapadre wote. Kujeni, kujeni mafadha. Kujeni, kujeni, kujeni. Kujeni na mkuje pamoja na father Josphat. Kujeni. Just come, just come. Tuwapigie makofi wakija. Tusimame wote. Tuanze kupiga makofi. Mungu wangu ni wajabu, Mungu wangu ni wajabu, Mungu wangu ni waja. Mungu wangu ni wa Mungu wangu ni wajabu. Kani toa wapi kani weka wapi Kani toa wapi kani weka wapi Mungu wangu ni wa upendo Mungu wangu ni wao wapi Kanitoa wapi kaniweka wapi Hallelujah 
Amen. Asante. Topic. Nitoa wapi kaniweka wapi? God is good. I know the time. So I'm so humbled. I am without words to express my joy. Ah, sina neno la kuweza kuelezea furaha iliyo ndani mwangu. Lakini nataka kuchukua fursa hii kwa moyo unyenyekevu kwanza uh, kuwatambulisha mapada ambao wamekuja wame to join later on kuna father anthony wakanyi yeah. sio kama kuna father mwingine ame to join later on uh, for, for the chaos father chaos leo yo ni msaidizi wa karibu wa, father, wa hey, his lordship uh, bishop mutaka then kuna seminarian jose simama kakana gaito ko kacha tikari atweka gacha then tuko na sister so karibu sana sister don't know whether there is someone else we could have missed so i now want to take this opportunity on behalf of Father James ameondoka alikuwa na mkutano uh, mahali akaniambia nimwakilishe uh, kwa oh, the day of him. God is good and all the time Mohasham Philippe Nyoro Askofu mkuu jibo kuu katoliki Nairobi Askofu George Mudaka OFM Captain Askofu wa Jimbo Rangarisa Ndugu zangu mapadri wanakwaya wote wageni waheshimiwa once again God is good In the program there I'm supposed to give a speech but I only make a summary. Tangu nije hapa ni shukrani kwake Mwenyezi Mungu kwa yale yote ametendea kila mmoja wetu. Leo hii ni baraka kubwa kanisa katoliki. Tunajivunia imani yetu na sherehe ya Kristo mfalme. And that one you know. I was thinking nyimbo zile ambazo tungemwimbia Mwenyezi Mungu nazo siku ya leo. They are linked to Christ the King. In 1925 the pope of the day Popeyes the 11th in his apostolic letter because of the challenges that were there during that time ye mwenyewe aliweza kusema kwa wakristo wote dunia zima ambao ni wakatoliki because this particular time the whole world had become secularized people had really been compromised by materialism na ye mwenyewe alisema all governments all leaderships in the world they have crabbed arazima watu wote wajue kristo christ is not only the lord he is not only the savior but he is also the king whose kingdom has no end blessings Mwenyezi Mungu ametubariki kila mmoja wetu na neema na baraka ambaye ni Plato ambaye alikuwa ni mngiliki is a philosopher na yeye mwenyewe in the scheme of education yeye mwenyewe alisema jambo gani 
alihimiza mambo matatu na akasema hesabu must develop the brain gymnastics must develop the whole body and because there is something is which is supposed to be indispensable in our education and that is music kwa sababu and that is music kwa sababu music ni chakula is the food of the soul we cannot walk out of this i can tell you for free saint augustine mnajua alikuwa ni mtu wa aina gani anajua askofu mkuu atasema hili jambo ye mwenyewe katika udhaifu wake maishani mwake ye mwenyewe maisha yake ilibadilika kupitia kwa kina nani kwa wanakwaya in confession number 14 yeye mwenyewe alisema jambo gani aliuliza tangu nije katika ibada hii ya misa hakuna mwingine tu anatajwa isipokuwa Mwenyezi Mungu na yeye mwenyewe in his confession katika toba lake amesema nini jambo gani he says it is in the canticles it is in the psalms but my life that my life has changed he got conversion kwa nyimbo ambazo zilimtukuza Mwenyezi Mungu wa Kristo ambao tulio nao na ni baraka kubwa kwa kila mmoja wetu ambao ni wanamuziki wantuzi wetu all our composers kuna pengo kubwa katika imani katika dunia nzima kuchangia kwetu ni kufanya nini kuna watu wengi angalia nyinyi ambao ni watunzi kuna nyimbo nyingi tumetunga kupokea ekaristia ni wangapi including the composers you are telling the people to go and receive the eucharist yet you yourself you don't how do you expect wewe ambaye ni mtunzi na uopokee ekaristia unafikiria watu wale wengine ambao wanakuona wewe na ndio umetunga wataenda kupokea kivipi basi ni wito wetu katika sherehe za Kristo mfalme kindly we are all invited ni mwaliko ambao sisi kupitia kwa wanakwaya ambao ni miaka hamsini tangu kikundi cha kwaya kiundwe katika parokia hii kupitia kwa baraka za zake Mwenyezi Mungu in this forum in this base tumtukuze Mwenyezi Mungu as we go home tujue lazima tuwajibike tueneze injili kupitia kwa nyimbo as Saint Augustine says our hearts are restless until the rest in you kusema ukweli bila mfalme Kristo hatuwezi kafaulu katika maisha may god bless each one of us may we be able to grow through the virtues and the blessing of the lord that we are able to wake up and actually say tumtukuze mwenyezi mungu milele na milele once again we thank you we thank you we thank you once again may god bless each one of you any question <laughs> now through this in a special way kwa sababu jimbo hili liko na mwenyewe askofu mkuu Philip Nyoro na tuko na mgeni kupitia kwa ratiba you know in the discipline the profile and all that i request your grace to come forward and then after that you are able to invite our visitor thank you very much tumkaribishe baba askofu
Buana wenanyi Inu keni Tupige magoti Mwada na karina anywe Asade sana Si tulifunisha yu pia kama kwaya Nini ujua mfada zolita kuimba Lakini walikomea mariflani Mata waimbia kila jumapili Kwa zavu hiyo na muhimu pia Muhimu mkubwa sana Wakueneza tulivya ambia wafalme wa Bwana wetu Yesu Krisu Mufalme wa amani Nasema asande kwa wabaskofu Ambaya alitikia Wito wakuja hapa Nibia muomba Halikuwa tayari kuja Kukana sisi hapa siku ya leo Father askofu nasema asande sana Your sacrifice a lot Kutoka gariza huko hapa jumapili Kristu mfalme Na wa Kristu wa mungu We thank you Na washukuru sana wanakwaya Siku jua tunakina nana muskuori hapa Najua nana muskuori Mwibaji ushupavu wa huko ugiriki Siku jua gine Kuko Tukuna wengi hata wanaume kuna wengi Naja chesema ni kuamba sauti tunazo Na sauti tukizwa pewa na mungu Ni vizuri kusitumia kumbuka Kumbuka Kuna kwa ya moja Amba inajulikana kila mwaka Na inajulikana kwa sababu Sio kwa imba njimbo za kisasa Njimbo za imba za mani Na hizo hiyo kwa ya Inachukua toto Always it's always 42 Watu wangapi 42 members Ukiwanda ni kuonyesha tu Hiyo inajua CF Siphony Lakini wote na 42 Kama makabila Kiwa wadogo watu Watu wa vulano wa miaka sita Wanaanza kuimbo Wakifika tu saile sauti Wanaanza kufunjika Mujika kama yangu kupromoka Wanaambia toka Toka The other ones come They are not a Vienna voice Saile wakati ule watoto wanatoka The whole family is broken down Kwa mba Sasa wezi wakaimba na wengine Yaka mia Na sababu ipo Kwa sababu ni uvumilivu Kwa sababu ya nini? Uvumilivu. Na kwa sababu ya watu kuwana niya, kwa metuambia, lazima iwe inaimba wa imbaji. Mimi nilikuwa na wao, ika nibidi nweza kucheza flute. Nweza flute. Ya, mimi ucheza wakatu wa COVID-19, kwa sababu tukua tumeambia musiede mahali mukaya nyumbanya kuna ofisi, nikuwa nakaa kila siku azibu azibui na cheza fruti yangu na zikia tona ndege wanakuja wengi and mangis come wanakuja kusikiza fruti yangu na wakiwa tupia chakula wanakula and you are talking to nature because of the flute and the song of the the flute we are the flutes of God we are the flutes of God our voices call we are the father metuambia sinaita watu wengi na zinawaleta wapato wakovu na wangovu. Wakoke na wapato wakovu. Tunashukuru kwa hii kazi ambayo munafanya. Miaka hamusini siyo haba. Miaka hamusini ni jambo la muhimu sana. Na furaha kubwa ni kwamba katika hii miaka hamusini kuna vya mavingine vya kwaya ambayo vimejia zaliwa na vinaendelea sasa kueneza njimbo sabwana. You have been praising God. You have been glorifying the name of God for these 50 years. Mungu anawabariki. Mungu anawabariki. Nanache waambia ni kwamba don't be discouraged in singing. Najua kuimba mara nyinge is very sensitive because it touches the feelings of a person. It touches the feelings of a person. Na zingine hata una aja kufikiria you are converted. Na hivyo ndiku nasema kanisa It sends us the songs of What we are singing Nyimbo zetu za kikrisu Vya nye fatha li tuambia za kikatoliki Ni nzuri kwa sababu Tunafanya mazoezi kama haya 
alafu nyimbo zinachambuliwa zinajua ni nini tunaimba kweli does it agree with the teachings of the church with the teachings of Christ does it help in evangelization na mambo yanaendelea vizuri Father alivyotuambia baba mtakatifu alivyosema ni kweli wakati ule mambo yalikuwa yanaanza kuharibika kwa mambo kule alimwengu so sema so, let us sing now in the spirit twimbe kwa roho kwa roho mtakatifu wakaanza kuimba na roho mtakatifu na ilikuwa ilikuwa kwanza ni wakati ambapo kanisa ilianza kutengana pia ndio watu wakaanza hata kutoka katika kanisa la kikatoliki wakisema huko hawana nyimbo hawana nyimbo wakati wa Martin Luther eh kulikuwa na protestant kulikuwa na catholic na hata katika catholic kukawa na wale ambao na traditional na wengine liberals kwa hivyo yote kachimbushia sio kwa mafundisho lakini kwa nyimbo kwa hivyo kanisa ikasema nyimbo lazima siweze kutunzwa kwa sababu ni chombo kamili cha kueneza wokovu wa Bwana ndio mungasikia Gregorian songs walikuja wanaimba nini wanaimbaje Gregorian songs gre wewe unajua wewe kuja jaribu tuone jaribu credo inomine deo eh ajina oh regina sheri waje waimba okay imba imba kwanza tusikie Asante sana. So that was the spirit of the time and the church was saved and the church prospered and the church went on with evangelization in the whole world in the catacombs in the skies and everywhere up to God himself and that's what you are doing now. So sawa. Kwa basi tunasema asante tunawashukuru kwa kazi ambayo mnafanya. One thing musi kate tama when a choir never give up in singing in the church know that you are doing it for the greater glory of god's name and for our own salvation sawa sawa kwa hivyo basi tunaposherekea siku hii ya kristu mfalme tunasema asanteni kwa kuja kwa competition ya choir na vile vile 
eh, kusherekea miaka msini ya wepo wenu kwa kwaya ya hapa ya nimesikia ni nyimbo nyingi meimba kwa mshukuru mungu na kuweza kualeta watu wa mungu karibu na yeye keep it up keep it up kwa ya basi kwa kumukaribisha askofu wetu na mgeni wa ishima siku ya leo Ataka naomba tuimbe Christus vincit Christus regnat Christus Christus Unajua hata kwa Kiswahili sivyo? Kwa hivyo siku hii ya leo tunaimba Kristo ni mfalme, Kristo ni mtawala, Kristo ni mshindi. Sawa sawa. Hiyo basi tumkaribisha askofu tunaposimama tuimbe wimbo huo anapokuja. Namba 1 2 3 Askofu mkuu muhashamu baba Philip Panyolo askofu wetu hapa Nairobi mapadre walioko hapa wageni wetu wa rasmi kwaya ya Saint Peter and Paul wa Kristo wote wa hii parokia na wageni wote walioko hapa tumsifu Yesu Kristo milele na milele amina viva kristo rei viva kristo asante sana kama tulivyosema asubuhi na vile baba askofu ametuambia na vile vile father karanja leo tumekusanyika hapa kwa sababu kwanza kabisa tumekuja kumsherekea huyu Kristo wetu mfalme. Na pili tumekuja kuwapongeza kwa ya yetu ambayo kwa miaka hamsini mimi hata sijafikisha miaka hamsini kwa miaka hamsini na wengine tumeambiwa wako hapa wamemtukuza 
wamemwimbia huyo Kristo mfalme kwa miaka hamsini na vile tumeambiwa kazi kubwa ya wanakwaya ni kusupport na kuenhance wa Kristo wenzao katika kumsifu na kumtukuza Mungu kwa hivyo kazi ambayo mnafanya katika kanisa ni kazi muhimu sana na tumeimbiwa wimbo mzuri sana hapa kwamba ni katika kuimba kwetu tunalihubiri neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu na vile niliwaambia katika mahubiri tunahimizwa tutumie talanta zetu ambazo tumepewa na huyo ambaye tuliambiwa ndiyo muumba wetu na mkombozi wetu na mfalme wetu tutumie hizo talanta ambazo ametupatia ili tuweze kutekeleza kazi ya kumsifu na kueneza utukufu wake na ufalme wake na talanta ni kitu muhimu na nimefurahi sana leo tumekuwa na Francis Gashuri hapa Gashuri sasa yeye mimi namwadmaya sana kwa sababu mimi namsikia anaongea Kiingereza anaongea Kiswahili anaongea Kikuyu fluent nikashangaa mtu alizaliwa wapi fluent eh na hiyo talanta yake imemfanya nini imempeleka mbele sawa sawa kwa hivyo basi ukiwa na talanta uitumie nini kuna mtu alisema Yesu alisurubishwa na wezi wawili hata sio mtu alisema tulisoma asubuhi sawa sawa na ikasemekana kwamba huyo mwizi mmoja ambaye anaitwa mwizi mzuri kuna mwizi mzuri <laughs> lakini huyu anamuita mwizi mzuri sijui kwa nini kuna mtu alisema huyu jamaa alijua kutumia kipaji chake alijua kutumia talanta yake kwamba pale msalabani aliweza kuiba wokovu imagine alijua namna ya kuiba wokovu akajua nikimsifu Yesu atanipa wokovu na alipata si ndio alitumia talanta yake si ndio hiyo sijui kama ni theology ya ukweli ama ni ya uongo lakini ni mtu alisema hivyo kwa hivyo tunaambiwa hivi ile talanta Mungu amekupatia uitumie kama vile baba askofu ametuambia kuweza kupata wokovu na Yesu alimwambia leo utakuwa na mimi paradiso. Kwa hivyo tunaambiwa hiyo talanta ambayo umepewa kama ni uimbaji uitumie ili uweze kupata wokovu. Na mimi ndio nasisitiza mara nyingi kwa Kristo. Kwa sababu ni kwa nini mimi pengine niliingia shirika la wakapuchini nikawa mtawa. Nilikuwa natafuta wokovu. Kwa nini mwingine anaingia upadri? Mtu anaingia upadri ili kutafuta wokovu. Kwa nini tunaingia katika vikundi vya kanisa? Nia istahili inakuwa inastahili ni kutafuta wokovu kwa ajili yetu na kwa ajili ya watu wengine. Kwa hivyo wewe jiulize, hii kwaya kwa hiyo miaka yote nimeimba. Je, imenileta karibu na Mungu ama inanipeleka mbali na Mungu? Jumuiya ambayo ninaenda Je, inanisaidia kupata wokovu ama inanipeleka wapi? Kwa hivyo mimi nataka kuwapongeza sana nyinyi wanakwaya kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo mmefanya kwa miaka hamsini Na hii ni testimony of your kwanza your leadership kwamba viongozi wenu wamekuwa ni watu wazuri. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu nimewaangalia. Nikaona kuna wazee, kuna vijana kuna wasichana kuna akina mama kuna wazee kuna vijana katika hii kwaya kwa hivyo kuna watu mchanganyiko maalum na sio rahisi kuongoza hawa watu kwa sababu kila mtu ana mawazo yake kwa hivyo inahitaji kiongozi ambaye ni mzuri aweze kuwaongoza kwa hivyo nawapongeza viongozi wenu na najua wa kwanza kabisa najua ni askofu wenu pili paroko wenu na mmekuwa na maparoko wengi hapa na viongozi wenu kati yenu kwa hivyo tunawapongeza sana hao viongozi wote pili na wapongeza kila mmoja wenu kwa sababu mungeweza kuleta vurugu katika hiyo kwaya lakini nyinyi mlijua mnafanya kazi ya Mungu na ndio mkadumu katika hiyo kazi kwa hivyo mimi ni kuwapongeza 
na kuwaombea Mwenyezi Mungu aendelee kuwabariki, muendelee kueneza injili na muendelee kufanya hiyo kazi. Alafu kuna mtu amenionekezea kitu hapa. Kwamba mnajua nini nilifanyika last year wakati kama huu siku ya leo? Nini litendeka? Eh? Ye, yeah. sasa nasikia last year siku kama hii ndio baba askofu Anyolo askofu mkuu alisoma misa yake ya kwanza Nairobi. Kwa hivyo hii ndio anniversary yake. Tumpigie makofi mazuri. Kashuri hebu aonyeshe vile watampongeza askofu. Tafadhali. <laughs> hey, hii ni very important. Eh hey. Manaki alifika siku kama ya jana na leo ndiyo akaadhimisha siku ya kwanza huko Holy Family Basilica akaadhimisha Haijaingia vizuri wewe kama uwa Mweka vizuri, piga moja, hiyo ni yako. Sasa piga vizuri tena, na tena, na tena, na tena, na tena. Asante. asante, asante. Thank you very much. Mwisho kabisa, langu ni kuwapongeza sana na kumshukuru sana baba askofu mkuu kwa kunialika ili niweze kuja hapa siku ya leo, kuweza kusherekea pamoja na nyinyi hii miaka hamsini na nimejifunza mambo mengi kwa sababu mimi bado ni mchanga katika hii kazi ya uaskofu kwa hivyo natembea hapa na pale na kila mahali nikienda najifunza mambo ambayo baadaye nitajaribu kuipeleka huko kwetu Garissa na Garissa nasikia Garissa kuna kwaya mashuhuri sana kule kwaya <laughs> eh <laughs> ile kwaya iko Garissa yinyi hata mwezi mkaiona Unaona kama ni mchezo? Kujeni mjione. Eh? Unajua mtu asipotembea atasema mamake ndiye anajua kupika. Njooni Garissa. Mtajionea mambo. Kwaya kali. Kwaya haijaionekana. Hii njooni mtajionea. Kwa hivyo asanteni sana mimi nilipokuja hapa nilipokelewa vizuri. In fact nilipofika asubuhi nilikuwa mgonjwa. Na nikakuta fadha moja anaitwa Ndisho. Akaniambia Bishop subiri hapa. Akaenda sijui alienda wapi, akaniletea dawa nikapona immediately. Sijui kama wako hapa. Kwa hivyo fadha Ndisho aliniokoa sana. Kwa hivyo hata siku nimedhani nitamaliza misa lakini aliniokoa na mambo ikaenda vizuri na mpaka sasa hivi sina shida. Kwa hivyo jameni asanteni sana mapadri walionipokea na Wakristo wote na karibuni Garisa asante sana baba askofu mkuu na Mungu awabariki sana. Thank you very much. Asante sana baba Askofu tumpigie makofi. Tumpigie makofi tena. Haya bas. God is good. I know the time. Ah uh, tunamshukuru sana uh, baba Askofu kwa vile ambavyo ameweza kupatia maneno mema na kabla aketi ningetaka aweze kutuza uh, baadhi ya wale ambao wamekuweza kushiriki pamoja nasi na wamepamba sherehe yetu so for those we begin with the, the solo artists who came and uh, i want to invite madam florence kamau to receive uh, a certificate of participation from his lordship afande kero Fandekeiro kama yuko. More power. Then kuna Madam Terry Mushiko. Yuko. Karibu sana. Madam Terry upoke tuzo la certificate. Then followed by representative from St. Matia Mulumba Choir. Matia Mulumba Matia Mulumba, then St. Francis of Assisi Royal, kuna kunao ambaye anakuja, tumpigia makofi anapojongea hapa.
then a representative from St. Cecilia Choir. Omlumba. She can pick. Madam Terry and Isaac Choir. St. Cecilia. Santi sana Madam Terry. St. Mulumba ndiyo huyo. Anachukua tumpigia makofi. Tuko na St. Francis wa St. Cyril. Haya. Tuapigia makofi. St. Cecilia. Mwari muangoi. Tumpigia makofi. Ambe tuongoza vizuri kwa anthem. St. Gregory. The Ndegua Choir. St. Gregory. Naona kuna wenye wameketi hapa mbele. Moja wenu aji achukue cheti. Then, I represent from Youth Serving Christ. YAC Kiambu. Youth Serving Christ. Mwenye yuko karibu. Then, kuna Madre Teresa kwa Zimaman. Kwa ya nguvu. Sauti Muzito. Youth serving Christ? Anyone? <laughs> Representative of Abiz, Sauti Muzito. Uh, Kahio na Kemari, waje, waze kuchukua uh, the certificates on behalf of Abiz. So, this is the patron but you serve Christ and I to a party Kikeroga. Asante sana. Seme mea vijana asante sana. So, beige. Yeah, beige ndiyo hao. Tenors, waweru na jaja. Moke mwe on behalf of the tenors. Tuwa pigie makofi wanapo kuja. They're the voice reps. Lucy Philip na Grace watakuja kulipresent Sopranos Sauti Nyororo inayotoa nyoka pangoni ndio hao wanakuja Then Alto Nila na Jean Moyo So Sopranos ndio wanakuja kuchukua The Sops wanapanda kwa mwendo wa aste aste tuwapigie makofi so you receive on behalf of the Sopranos. Yes. Yeah. Then finally, the Altos. So. Sani kumani shakila moja hui o anakoya mesha poki acheti chake. So your Lordship at Santi Sana. So Francis, lead us into the next uh, item on stage. Thank you. Thank you, Asante Sana, Baba Skofu Mudaka, na vile vile Padri Josphat. Sasa, nataka tuingie kilele. Sema kilele. Kilele si ni climax. Kilele cha shugli yetu hileo. Na ni wimbo ambao ni maalum sana umeandaliwa na wanakoya wetu wa St. Peter and Paul. Na waomba Njooni ili to launch wimbo wetu mpya. Karibu ni tuwapigia makofi.
mitano tuko pamoja kwa sababu when a child is born we celebrate akifikisha miaka ingine pia tunafanya nini kwa hivyo nataka tupige ngemi tutapiga ngapi hizi tupigieni metron makofi also our patrons should be here si tuko na mama na bishon jameni another decade another century because we shall celebrate so many years tutaendelea na kwaya itaendelea tupigeni makofi ikibamba sana wapi Sasa mimi ni murudishi wa thanks Thank you so very much indeed. First of all, I must say thank you to God for giving, giving us this day. Next, I would thank your grace for questioning your day today for coming to see us. Your Lordship, thank you so very much indeed for coming to see us today. We have got no word to say the only thing that we can say, and we always say, is that we definitely and unarguably love you so much indeed. Makofi kwa wagenuetu. Next, I should take this opportunity to thank all the priests, wherever you come from, for taking your time to come and see us. Thirdly, I would thank all the participants without saying grading who is who. For this was not competition. Why, that is why everybody was so easy for this was a presentation to our Christ the King. Next, I should thank everybody for existence. In the first group, those who started this choir? All the it's not here, but now today is J M Bugwa. So thank you, my child J M. Atanza kazi yake ina. Tusma me wote. Wajali afya nzuri pia yamuili na pia afya rong. Wape guvu zakushinda lolota malo ni lakiovu. Wape upole wakwe mauta kwa Matakia a very wonderful advent. Indio advantage ya kuwa na talanta. Sindio? God bless you all. Thank you. DJ.